。啱啱上任四個多月嘅美國駐本國大使 David Cohen 科恩，上星期首次到訪卑斯省。咁仲出席咗喺温哥華所舉辦嘅北美氣候及可持續會議二零二二環球論壇，亦都分別咧同總理杜魯多以及卑斯省長何錦會晤。而喺今晚嘅政論中話，我哋就同呢位嘅外交官傾過，咁聽下咧佢對於氣候變化同埋重建跨境經濟等議題嘅睇法。總理杜魯多喺上個星期公布嘅二零三零年減排計劃，同埋增加對零排放汽車嘅鼓勵措施。對此，美國駐本國大使科恩表示，加美兩國喺氣候變化方面嘅價值觀相近，期望雙方能共同合作，實現相關目標。Canada and the United States will work together in helping to lead the world toward that transition, and we'll work together because of the integrated nature. Of the supply chain, a United States electric vehicle could have a battery manufactured in the United States, or could have a battery manufactured in Canada. And a Canadian manufactured electric vehicle,、um, again, could have a battery manufactured in Canada or a battery manufactured in the United States. 当被问及喺气候疫情时代点样重建两国跨境经济往来，佢指出美国总统拜登推行嘅 Build Back Better 重建美好基建计划，将会有助加强保护中小企业，促进双边嘅贸易关系发展。One of the ways why that is, why that will be accomplished is because of the focus in the roadmap on building back the business of SMEs, small and medium-sized enterprises. In both Canada and the United States, we will be very intentional in building back those SMEs、um, and those minority and women-owned SMEs, so that we are ensure so that we can ensure that they recover from the pandemic. 另外，近期有報告指，美國阿拉斯加州漁民喺本國卑斯省水域過度捕撈梭卡三文魚，對省內嘅漁業造成影響。科恩則強調，美國會致力遵守《太平洋三文魚條約》內嘅條款，希望可以透過溝通以解決問題。If Canada believes that、um, the treaty obligations are not being honoured, there is a process to be able to raise that and to be able to discuss it. I do think the strength of Canada's relationship with the United States and the United States relationship with Canada is our open communication, our open collaboration. And if there are issues, I'm confident in our ability to be able to resolve those issues by communicating and by working together. 随住本国喺四月一号进一步放宽入境嘅防疫限制。究竟呢一位美國駐加大使可唔可以成功協助促進兩國嘅貿易經濟復甦，同埋喺疫情之後重啟雙邊嘅關係呢？咁相信大家都仲需要多啲嘅時間去觀察。好啦，咁今晚嘅政論中橫就講到呢一度。